degree of vertex or also known as valency vertex having no incident edges if its degree is even if its degree is even means it is a even vertex null means what it is a zero graph or empty graph hello everyone welcome back to my new session i am shweta computer science faculty in my previous session i have started fourth unit in discrete transformation and the first chapter in fourth unit is graph theory so i have explained some basic introduction concept in graph theory I have explained the definition and types of graphs and we have different types of graphs that is pseudo graph multi graph multiple graph and loop simple graph etc so today i will explain some other important concepts in graph theory so what is graph graph is a collection of points called vertices and collection of lines called edges each of which joins either in pair of vertices or a single vertex so graph can be represented by g is equal to v comma e v means vertices and e is edges so next type is degree of vertex degree of vertex or also known as valency degree of vertex is a number of edges incident on a vertex with self loop counted twice i'll repeat degree of vertex so what is the meaning of degree of vertex degree of vertex is a number of edges incident on a vertex with self loop counted twice self loop counted twice in degree of vertex and denoted by degree g d e g of v1 degree of vertex v1 or d of v degree of vertex can be denoted by d of v or degree of v1 so what is the meaning of this degree of vertex so degree of vertex is a number of edges is counted twice example so here i'll draw a graph v1 v2 v3 and v4 here we have four vertex and e1 e2 e3 three vertices right so what is the degree of vertex example in v4 i have a self loop in v4 i have a self loop so here we have to count the degree of vertex so degree of vertex is d of v1 d of v1 means it's connected to v2 v3 and v4 so degree of vertex for d of v1 is 3 so it's connected to three vertex so v2 v3 and v4 so v1 is connected to three vertex so degree of vertex is v1 is equal to 3 and d of v2 so here v2 is connected to only one vertex called v1 so d of v2 is equal to 1 and d of v3 d of v3 is equal to v3 is connected to only v1 vertex so it is 1 degree of vertex is 1 and v4 v4 is connected to v1 and with self loop so what is the definition of degree of vertex self loop counted twice self loop counted twice means so it's connected to v1 v1 means degree of vertex is 1 with self loops this self loop is counted twice so 1 plus 2 it is 3 so v of sorry degree of v4 is equal to 3 i'll repeat here we have one graph simple graph v1 v2 v3 and v4 so this v1 is connected to three vertex that is v2 v3 and v4 and this v2 is connected to v1 so degree of vertex is 1 and this v3 is connected to v1 so degree of vertex is 1 and this v4 is connected to v1 and with self loop so self loop is counted twice in degree of vertex so 2 plus 1 it is equal to 3 so 2 plus 1 so 3 1 1 3 is a degree of vertex 
to this graph. It is very an easiest concept. So degree of vertex is also known as valency. In degree of vertex is a collection of number of edges incident on a vertex which self loop is counted twice or called as degree of vertex and it is denoted by D of V. Clear? And the next one isolated vertex. So what is this isolated vertex? A vertex having no incident edges. A vertex having no incident edges is called an isolated vertex. That means vertex having no incident edges. Example, a vertex having no incident edges. V1, V2 and V3. Here we have V1, V2 and V3, three vertex. A vertex having no incident edges. Here V1 and V3, we have one edge. For V2 and V1, we have edge E1, E2 and E3. We have vertex and also edges. So what is the definition of isolated vertex? A vertex having no incident edges. That means, I'll write one more vertex here. It is V4. A vertex having no incident vertex. It's not connected to any other edges and any other vertex. So V4 is called as isolated vertex because it's not connected to any other edges. That means it's not connected to incident edges or called as isolated vertex. It is very simple, right? This is an example for isolated vertex. And next one, pendant vertex. So what is this pendant vertex? So pendant vertex of degree 1 is called a pendant vertex. So in pendant vertex, degree is always 1. Then we can consider it as it is a pendant vertex. If the vertex degree is 1, then we can call it as it is a pendant vertex. Clear? So example. Example, again I will draw the same graph V1, V2 and V3 and V4. So here, what is the degree of V1? D of V1 is 1 and 2. Degree of V2 is also 2. Degree of V3 also 2. So this is not a pendant vertex because the degree of vertex is 2, 2 and 2. What is the definition? A pendant vertex of degree 1 is called a pendant vertex. Here V4 is called as pendant vertex because D of V4 is equal to 1. It's not connected to any other edges. So degree of vertex is 1. This is called as pendant vertex. Clear? And the next one, null graph. If every vertex of graph is isolated, then it is called a null graph. Null means what? It is a zero graph or empty graph. So here, definition is every vertex of a graph is isolated. So what is the meaning of isolated? Already I have discussed this isolated, right? If vertex is not having a incident edges, then we can consider it as it is a isolated, right? If a vertex not having any other edges. So here, if a vertex of a graph is isolated, so entire graph is isolated, then we can consider it as a null graph. So example, V1, V2, V3 and V4, V5. So is this null graph? Yes, it is a null graph because if a vertex of a graph is isolated, isolated means what? A vertex having no incident edges, then we can call it as it is a isolated. So in null graph, if every vertex of graph is isolated, then we can consider it as it is a null graph. Clear? So here V1, V2, V3, V4, V5 are null graph. So next one we have even and odd vertices. So what is this even and odd vertices? The vertex is called an even vertex if its degree is even. If its degree is even means it is a even vertex. Example, here V1, V2 and V3. So what is the degree of V1? D of V1 is equal to 2. It's connected to V2 and V3. 
and d of v1 and v2 is equal to again it's connected to v1 and v3 so degree is equal to 2 and what is the degree of v3 v3 is equal to 2 so degree of each vertex is e1 then we can consider it as it is a even vertex so degree of vertex is e1 the vertex is called an odd vertex if its degree is odd clear example if the degree of vertex is odd so here v1 v2 v3 v4 and v5 so for v1 the degree of vertex is 1 right and for v2 degree of vertex is v1 v3 and v5 and for degree of vertex v3 it is 2 so again i'll write one more vertex so here it is v6 so degree of v1 is equal to what is the degree of v1 1 so degree of v2 is equal to 1 2 3 so degree of v3 is equal to 1 2 3 so this type of vertex is called as odd vertex if the degree of vertex is odd then it is called as odd vertices and the degree of vertex is even then it is called as even vertices clear and the next one we have complete graph very important question what is complete graph give an example let g be a simple graph so what is simple graph it is one simple graph and this is one simple graph if let g be a simple graph with n vertices if the degree of each vertex is n minus 1 then g is a complete graph and it is denoted by kn if the degree of each vertex is n minus 1 degree of each vertex is equal to n minus 1 then g is a complete graph example for complete graph v1 v2 v3 and v4 so now this is an example for complete graph if the degree of the vertex is n minus 1 so what is d of v1 is equal to 3 d of v2 is equal to again it's 3 so same degree will come for each and every vertex then you can consider as it is a complete graph so degree of v3 also 3 so degree of vertex is same then we can call it as it is a complete graph and the next one directed graph a directed graph g of v e consists of vertices v and set of edges e a directed edge associate with the ordered pair v1 v2 is to start at v1 and end at v2 the vertex is start at v1 and end at v2 then it is a directed graph example for directed graph v1 v2 v3 v4 and here i'll write one more edges so now a directed edge associated with ordered pair v1 v2 is to start at v1 start at v1 means direction is this side you have to mention the direction start at v1 and end at v2 so end at v2 means v2 to v3 so you have to mention the direction start at v1 and end at v2 and again v1 start at v1 and end at v4 clear and again start at v4 and end at v3 start at v4 this direction and end at v3 so this is an example for directed graph understand the logic a directed edge associated with the order pair v1 v2 is to start at v1 and end at v2 so start at v1 and end at v2 so you have to mention the direction and here start at v1 and end at v4 and here 
start at v4 and end at v2 clear start at v4 and end at v3 so this is an example for directed graph and the next one we have subgraph so what is this subgraph a subgraph of a graph so g of v comma e is a graph so h is equal to w comma f such that w is a subset of v and f is a subset of e is it right so w is a subset of v and f is a subset of e so already you have studied this subset concept in set theory right so here graph g is equal to v comma e graph g is equal to v comma e v means vertices e is edges so what is the subset of this g of v comma e h is equal to w comma f so w means is a subgraph of v and f is a subgraph of e so how to draw this subgraph so example here v1 v2 v3 v4 and v5 clear and how many edges e1 e2 e3 e4 e5 and e6 e7 and e8 so now this is one example for complete graph so how to draw a subgraph so subgraph means W is a subgraph of V and F is a subgraph of E. So now I'll draw a subgraph. So now I'll draw a subgraph. So now you can consider it as it is a subgraph of this graph because I have the same graph diagram here. So subgraph of this graph. I have taken some part in this complete graph. So here we have V1 v2 and v5 and this is v3 so this is e1 e2 e7 and e3 so this is a subgraph of this complete graph that's it so this is one example for subgraph or else you can write this also and you can write this also so you have different methods to write the subgraph clear so this is an example for subgraph if g is equal to v comma e what is the subgraph of this h is equal to w comma f clear so this is an example for subgraph it is very important concept what is subgraph given example so you can write this example and definition so today you learnt the important concept called subgraph directed graph and null graph complete graph and even and odd graph and you have studied one more important concept called degree of vertex so in my next session i will discuss the important concepts in graph theory thank you